Hey guys, World Eater here. Today, we're going to be going over the Valentine's Day event. However, it's going to be in a more feedback style type of method. We're going to try to make sure we give our opinions on just about everything in this video. So if you guys agree with me, please leave it in the comments. If you guys disagree with me, leave it down there as well. Or if you have some ideas of your own, please don't feel scared to say them down there. Just remember to be kind, courteous, nice to others, and just make sure that it's something reasonable. First off, we're gonna take a quick tour of the town and give our honest opinions on what we think. And just like always, I honestly love the quirkiness they add. They add all these funny little things everywhere and I love it. It's executed perfectly every time. I never have any complaints. It's good to me. Let's check out Sardinex, which is this giant Valentine's Day baby. Now for the cosmetics chest, I'm not really gonna go over the cosmetics cause it's all based on personal opinion on how they look. I think the cosmetics chest is perfect the way it is. It doesn't need any changes. Now for the materials box, I have two options. One, completely get rid of the gotcha style material box. Or two, leave it as a gotcha style material box, but make it worth going for. As you see here, there's an empty spot on the bottom, which you can easily fill with something more compelling, like having either a collar or curio in every single event one or the other or both or for another option just put one of each mythic material you know trim some of the fluff here get some of the stuff that we might not want or need you know and just add a few more mythic materials one of each would be nice making it worth uh, rolling for but don't add more columns or rows of useless stuff or less compelling items try to give me a one in five chance that's what i would want as a consumer at least a one in five chance to get something nice when rolling this box that way even if i do get some of the things I want, well, I can still keep rolling for more awesome things that I can use. So I'll keep farming. As you can see here, I stopped here and it's not because I don't have any. I have 653. It's because I don't see a point in getting any more of this box. I don't need any of the things here. The stat points would be nice, but I'm not stressing on it. I'm going to wait till the very end to see how much I have to decide what I want to get now. But that is what I'm talking about. I don't want to have this feeling where I feel like I'm done farming for the event only one weekend this was one weekend so that's just me those are my changes to the box either eradicate the box and make it the way it was for the material box or do those changes if you guys agree with me leave it in the comments below if you guys disagree leave it down there as well for the boost box let's check it out so i honestly don't have a problem with this being a gotcha style box because you are getting boosts after all you don't want something crazy um, to just buy the big gore and then just feel like you're done with all the boosts. I like that they did this and I don't see any problem with it being a gotcha box. However, there are currently five rows of boosts and more than four of them, four and a half, more than the bigger half of four and a half is epic boosts. And trust me, I don't like that. Like nobody does. This, this is not okay. This needs to stop now. For these three down here, give me either a bite gore or super scroll on one of them, and then a capture rate tomb and an item find tomb as the other two. That way it's at least more compelling, it's not game breaking, and come on, I mean, one more decent boost like a super scroll or bite gore isn't going to break the game. Like, it's just gonna make the community happier, which will make them play more. I don't think you should take it off of a gotcha box when it comes to the boost box. I like it this way. Don't add any more rows. This is plenty, so please consider that. Now for the schematics, I don't mind the price. I don't mind the names. I don't mind the rarity. I don't even mind the looks. I like all of it. Everything is so nice, but I'll tell you what's not nice. Their kit. Check this out. If we go to Astaroth, Astaroth literally doesn't have anything special going for him. This is his kit. Nothing crazy. Would you want to go back to the first raid, which you have no reason to farm other than this, to make something this useless? No. Same things go. The same thing goes for Kaleido. Like Kaleido is just. I don't know. Th these these skills aren't great, guys. They're not great at all. I would not want to go back to farm for these at all. I highly recommend nobody buy those schematics. Like normally, I don't like doing that, but please don't waste your time or funds getting those schematics. They're just a way, sadly, just copy paste some other familiar's kit onto them. Like for example, you can get someone like 
like Pinguita, just an example, copy paste their kit. I mean, Asilove and Kaliderov don't even have these little amplifiers like 20% speed and 15% fire damage. They don't have nothing like that. They're just base familiars. I don't know what this is, but it's kind of hot. The skills, you can literally copy paste the skills if you want and you can have different, if you want to make it unique, you can just change the attributes, keep the skills, or you can keep it all together and change the element type to shock or whatever, sorry, um, like water or fire, whatever you want to do. If there's one thing, a few things I have to say about this event that I like, the aesthetics are nice. I love it. I really do. Um, the mounts that you guys are giving us if we if we are lucky enough to farm for it is amazing that is a huge game changer for a lot of players that's great that's in the right direction in my opinion if there's one thing i would say to add it's just one thing but make it for gems for those free to players or for those tier campers or players like that um we those players really want to buy something like that as well believe it or not some players will just spend their gems on cosmetics some players spend tens of thousands of gems just for the events so trust me that's something you can consider adding. Is it game breaking? Do you need to add that? No, but I'm just giving my honest opinions on the whole event in general. Whether you agree, disagree, or just want to add something yourself, it's fine with me. Just please be kind and courteous in the comments and try to say something reasonable like I said at the beginning. Thank you for stopping by. This is World Eater. Have a great one, guys. Peace.